Hey folks, this is Alex the eBay guy here at Beckley's RVs in Thurmont, Maryland. This is the 2010 Monaco Monarch 34 SBD. This is uh, one of two that we have. We got a 2010 and a 26, both traded in at the same time, 2006. Um, however, they have two different options on them. This one is optioned with the bunks in the hallway, and the other one has the wardrobe. So that was the one option you could get on it. You could um, you could specify that you wanted the bunks, and they would take the wardrobe out and install the bunks. That was your that was your option. I've got a lot of pictures of the coach in the ad. Feel free to peruse through those. If you have any questions or want individual pictures on something else, I'll be happy to get those for you. Just do a quick walk around here, and then we'll talk about some details of the coach. It's a low mileage coach. Um, just over 18,000 miles on it. We've got um, awnings that have um, aluminum covers on all the awnings. Uh, this awning needs diagnosis. It won't go out with the switch, but uh, the awning's there and it's in good shape. This does have the 3M diamond guard on the front, which as most of our viewers know, and this is a good example right here, um, the diamond guard actually traps mold underneath it, gives it kind of an unsightly um, uh, look to it. But if you see the paint is actually in good shape, you need to get a heat gun and take that off and um, it'll return the, the paint to its original, original color. The, the, the mold is in the, is in the diamond guard product. Um, the glass, um, you've got uh, front windshield, no cracks, uh, would ha wouldn't have any issue uh, passing in the inspection here. Uh, the two side windows on each side are cloudy. Uh, they have had moisture in them. Depending on what state you have, you may need to have that repaired. Um, I would do that anyhow. Um, slide toppers all across. Uh, they're starting to fray, but they're still, still there and doing their job. There's been no accidents in it, but it's had a few scrapes and um, uh, scratches along the way. We've got another one here. Um, the doors all close underneath as they should. The tires are uh, 2018 date note. And the fellow said he had them installed in 2019. It has valve extenders on them. That's a generator you hear running now because they've got both the air conditioner, which, which are blowing nice and cold inside. Uh, these do have a fiberglass roof on them. It's a three-piece fiberglass roof. I've got pictures of that in the ad. Full walk-on roof. 5,500 um, gold Onan generator. 10-gallon Atwood water heater. Let's go take a look inside here. Shut this to keep the air in. So this has the Ford drivetrain to it, um, 18,000 miles, engine starts and runs well, here we go. I'm sorry, I said 18, 13,876 miles, 13,876. Generator starts right up, as you heard it's running out there. Um, probably could use some new house batteries. It's got two six volters on there. Um, it's your preference whether you want to do six volt or upgrade them to 12 volt. You're getting some fraying on the on the front of the seats, but the most mostly the pad of the seats are all right. This seat's a lot worse than the other one is, so uh, you might want a seat cover or get a new cover for it. The sofa is not bad. It's got one spot where the elbow goes right there. All these windows are clear. All the other windows in the coach are clear, actually. Got a brocade cloth chair there. I think that's aftermarket. I don't think that came with it. Um, solid surface countertops. Corian style countertops. And form fitting covers. There's another side over here. I only got two hands, unfortunately, while making video. Got a three burner stove and a convection microwave oven for your oven. I don't think the stove is ever used. There's no carbon build up. And all the parts are there for the microwave. It's a sharp sensor, sensor wave carousel. 
we have a four door refrigerator freezer combo with an ice maker up top i have had this refrigerator on it does get nice and cold got a tv over here with a flat screen tv which is an upgrade really nice woodworking in the coach it's these cherry cabinets uh solid cherry wood throughout and um really did a nice job on it going through here this is where our bunks are each bunk has its own entertainment system and there's a pair of wireless headphones that go with each one these are six foot bunks and they're singles i'm six five i can fit on them it's fairly comfortable but i do have to curl up a little bit in the bathroom we've got a freestanding porcelain toilet uh tub shower surround and looking in here we've got skylight to give you extra room for your head now one time there was a leak in the outer skylight of this um, was cracked I believe the previous owner replaced it several years ago from the looks of it um, it's sealed up now but at one time it did have a leak around the outer skylight and let's go back to the bedroom here both slide outs work fine just as they should you are missing a piece of trim on the center of this slide out right there where the the fascia screws into the metal of the slide out we've got a tv there with some potential storage room behind it um pull that out like that and you got the room back there you've got all these drawers a large armoire here and if you're not using the bunks for bunks you can you've got storage there you got a full length queen bed here and all that storage over there and down to here that skylight and nothing it doesn't look like it came through here there's no discoloration or anything like that but um, right on the opposite side of this is where that skylight was it had a leak I mean, it's a nice coach. Um, if you wanted something that's not as expensive as a new Class A in good condition, it's got the Ford drivetrain. All the parts are available for it. It's easy to service, unlike the workhorse where you got to source parts. Um, it's it's a nice coach. They they took pretty good care of it. Not perfect, but 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 nice. If you have any questions, want to come see it, or want to go camping in it this weekend, call Alex, the eBay guy, two four zero. 405-7790 240-405-7790 Notice it's got the three three cameras there for uh, backing up and your electronic leveling system. Have a great day.